Greetings everyone. Today, I'm here to demonstrate the process of remapping keyboard keys on a Windows PC. This becomes particularly handy when a key on your keyboard malfunctions or ceases to work. By remapping, you can assign the functionality of the problematic key to an unused key on your keyboard, ensuring its continued usability. As an illustrative example, let's say my O key is faulty. In order to address this issue, I'll reassign the O letter to the left alt key on my keyboard. To achieve this, we'll be utilizing a free application called Microsoft Power Toys, available for installation from the Microsoft Store. Once installed, open Power Toys, a feature-rich application designed to enhance the Windows experience. For this demonstration, we'll focus on the keyboard manager. Firstly, toggle on the keyboard manager feature. Then, select Remap a key and add a new key mapping by clicking the plus button. In the configuration, choose the key you wish to press, left alt, in my case, from the left drop down, and the malfunctioning key, O key, in my case, from the right drop down. Save the configuration by clicking OK and proceed with the remapping. Upon pressing the left alt key, you'll notice it now performs the O letter, effectively remapping the functionality. This process can be repeated for other keys if needed. If you ever want to undo a key remapping, simply press the delete button. Power Toys also offers the flexibility to remap keyboard shortcuts, tailoring them to better suit your workflow. For instance, if you frequently use a specific shortcut, remapping it to a more accessible combination can enhance your efficiency. To demonstrate, I'll remap the Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V shortcuts to different key combinations. Click on Remap a shortcut, add a new mapping by selecting the original combination in the left column and the desired shortcut in the right column. For example, I'll press the right Alt key plus C for the copy task. Similarly, a new key combination can be assigned for the paste shortcut. Once your custom mappings are configured, Save your selections by clicking OK. You can then test the remapped shortcuts to ensure they are functioning as intended.